Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and this is issue 85 of Build Your Own X-Ring from Diagostini. After a big, huge getting everything together, this is a much more personal, up close and detailed thing. Uh, the only parts supplied this time are these three plastic bits, which are the top of the hyperdrive cover. Uh, the hyperdrive being the bit that we've been doing lots of lovely detail stuff in, like that. And there's even more detailed stuff coming in that came in in a previous part. And then obviously this is just going to go over the top of it somewhere, probably that way around actually, uh, and cover it all up completely so you can't see it, just like inside the engines and everything else. So yeah, okay. Uh, right, let's have a look at the magazine before we get on to the build itself. Uh, still talking about the Imperial Shuttle, which is still quite a nice looking ship. I do quite like that. It's a bit plain. But it's okay, it's obviously got more detail when you look at it closer than you imagine that it would have had. But yeah. Uh, yep, snap Wes Wex Wexley. Yeah, cool. I like him, he's in lots of stuff. Yeah. Wanted to be in Star Wars, so he did. There we go. Uh, and then onto the build itself. So let me move this all out of the way. Uh, let me see. We're not using these until the end of this week's build. So let's put those over there. We need this. We need these. And these little bits. I've got no idea about any of it. And it's starting to come apart a little bit as well. So we'll we'll make sure it all goes together nicely before it's all locked away completely and you're never seeing it again. I'm going to stop fiddling because it's getting worse now than, rather than better. Bits are coming off that weren't off before. <sighs> Right, let's see what we're going to do. Right, first of all, we're taking the longer sprue. Uh, noting the small holes. The first example is arrowed. There are indeed small holes on each of those and not on the other side of them. Uh, right, first up, what I'm going to do is cut away. I'm going to remove these from the sprue using cutters as, as opposed to just snapping them out. Uh, and I shall be doing a little bit of filing just to get rid of the edges. So I'm going to use a small metal file just to tidy up the edges, not removing any of the, or very much of the plating, just tidying it up a little bit just so it's not quite so rough. So I'm going to do that on all of these and all of those while I'm off. I'll tidy up that and I'll come back when I'm actually ready to do some building. Right, let's tidy it up all of the bits and tidy up the pipes and tubes as well. So what we're doing first is these tiny pieces here. Uh, it says to make sure you get the hole at that end, not this end. And these are just slotting into there. Just easy like that. Just, just slotting in without any problems or hassles at all. It's going to be one of those episodes, isn't it? It really is. Right, let's try that one more time. I'll get the hole in the right place. Hold that there. It does say use tweezers, but you might be better off if you're not completely ham-fisted like me, using your fingers. Uh, so these six all need to go. Uh, did I say six? I meant eight, of course, because there are seven. <laughs> uh, counting is hard. Knowing how many of the thing is without doing the thing. Right. I'll keep doing this on camera because, you know, I wouldn't want to appear to be, you know, knowing what I'm doing and stuff. Because that would be like false advertising, wouldn't it? Yeah, no, I need to hold it with them, put it in place and then push down a little bit with the other hand. That seems to work. Now I've only got two more to do. I've learned how to do it. Yeah. And... I've even got all the holes the right way round. Now the reason we need to keep the holes the right way round is because of this thin little metal bar is going to go and join them all up. So that's going to go across the top through all of those holes. And that's not going to be tricky to do at all. Uh, ooh, it might not be. Actually, that's that's gone surprisingly well. I'm slightly nervous now that that's gone so well. It hasn't. It just looked like it had gone well. The last one is not quite lining up. There we go. 
So yeah, that's joined up all of those. Cool, I like that. It worked quite well as well. I'm surprised how well it worked. Uh, so after we've done all of that, we then need these two pieces. Uh, are they the same? They've got a one and a two on them. Uh, take the two which go this way round. Uh, oh, is there a shape? There's a shape to the top corner. So that goes that way round that side and that goes... Oh, that's the same. Hang about. There's an outside bit to it. I don't know. Has it got a number on there? It just says... It hasn't got a number on the picture in the thing, which is lovely. So let's see if it's going to matter. Try and put this one on this side and see if it works. Well, it lines up, it goes in, it feels quite secure as well. So let's put the other one in the other side also. Yep, that's done a thing. That's that, looks like that. Uh, right, take the remaining sprue. I've already taken them off. Remove each detail, line them up and put them somewhere. Oh, these are standing up in those holes there. Right, okay, let's have a closer look at these a minute. Right, there's one end that's longer than the other, but they don't seem to have any uh, roundness. Uh, it doesn't say which way up it goes, but I'm going to assume that the longer hole will go into the bit. And it does, it goes in there quite nicely like that. Put that one in there. Yep, all of this lovely detail that we're then going to put a cover over the top of as well. And as if that wasn't enough, we're going to put another big cover over the top of all of it. Later. Can't get that one in. Am I the wrong way up? No, that's definitely that way up. Just a little bit of variation in that. So let's get the other three of those done. That one. Come on, you know you want to. Apologies if you're just getting the back of my head on this, but obviously small pieces, I need to get close to be able to see what I'm doing. That one there, and the last one. Is the one that's going to ping across the floor. No, it's not. There we go on there. Cool. I like that. That's worked so far. Uh, the end of the hyperdrive should now look like this. It does. It looks just like that. Look, you can see it looking like it does. It looks quite nice. I'll give them that. Uh, right, align this this way round. It'll only go one way round because the way the holes are lined up. So that's going to go on there. Like that. Uh, you can fit the long tabs underneath the matching slots. All oh, right, there's little slots on the side there and the big one there. So it goes in like that. It just sort of pushes in, not terribly tight, but tight enough and covered up almost everything that we've just done. Well, you can sort of see it from the edges a little bit if you look just right. But yeah, the, the subtitle for this build is going to be stuff you built that you know is in there somewhere but you can't really see it uh so that is that uh, that's that for now this will obviously be mounted into the x-ring i shall put it in there and drop it in place just to see what it looks like and to keep it out of the way and stop it getting damaged but first of all we've got these pieces here uh let's get it the same way around um this bit is going onto that bit like that is it it's sort of like that it, oh, that goes into there. There's a little peg there and two pegs there. It's going right the way towards the back. Just like that. That does that job. Um, and this one is then going around the outside of that. After the fiddly stuff, that feels really easy and satisfying. Except when it doesn't line up quite right and doesn't go into the hole properly. I shouldn't have said it was satisfying until I'd actually done it, should I? It really was tempting fate. There we go. That was satisfying. Okay, so that's that. And that's going to go on top of this. 
uh, two little plugs there are going to go into those two little holes there. Probably screw in place, maybe. I don't really know. I indentation's there for that, and that right down the middle. So I shall put that out of the way for now. I don't really want to clip it together, but I do sort of want to clip it together. So yeah, I'm going to. There it goes. Just line it up just right. Oh, there's two little bits at the end there for that as well. Yeah, so everything will just line up just about right. There's a little bit of give on the end of there until that goes in there. So I think this whole section you're going to be able to remove and obviously look at it like that, which is not too bad. That's OK. I don't mind that so much. So, yeah, there we go. That's that. Uh, look, oh, one of my tubes has come out again. I shall attend to that very shortly. But first of all, let's finish off the build, finish off the month and look at the back picture. Yeah, we got the, the Imperial Shuttle and the lots of people lining up. Spot the difference. Why is he looking down and he's looking out? They're not very Imperial, are they? They're, he's not even standing straight. You wouldn't have thought, you know, get them to stand for it and stand at attention properly and face the right way and pay attention. There we go. I, I, I'm going to see that every time. I'm going to have to look, watch the film and see how many of them are out of line. But that was that. That was episode, episode and issue 85. Uh, that's the last of this month's delivery. So I'm waiting on another delivery now. So thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying the build. Do leave a like and a comment or a dislike and a comment. But either way, leave a comment so you know that you're liking or disliking it. And I shall see you soon for the next issue. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.